is Manuel Copas. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the crowdfunding project. Um, I've become quite busy these days and I just wanted to sort of uh, try new ways of communicating part of the science that I'm doing. And thanks to the idea that I got from Dan MacArthur and um, Nick Lohman, I thought that perhaps I could give you a little update in terms of the things that I have learned from the crowdfunding project that I've been working on. So there are a couple of things I'd like to say mainly, uh, which are in agreement with uh, what my colleagues have said to me uh, that they think. I think that my project um, was not a very resounding success because first of all, I think that I didn't have enough marketing in order to be able to, to support uh, the request for money for the crowdfunding genome project. And then I think also it was the factor that, you know, it could be um, the, the kind of topic and the kind of reason why I wanted to um, raise money was for, for my family. And it wasn't something that was very sort of attractive like for example the really nice example that um, rare chromo rare chromosomal um, institute uh, actually um, was able to do which in the end ended up kind of raising the same amount of money as we did but you know it got quite a lot of echo in uh, you know because they were basically um, talking about a child that had been extremely um, affected by a genomic disease and, 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 and being able to sort of get money for her uh, sequencing of her exon uh, allowed a very nice uh, specific purpose. She had a, a specific illness and the crowdfunding will help hopefully understand that illness better. In our case, my family didn't have any illness. So, but other than that, I think that um, I'm quite happy by the fact that I wasn't able to sort of do it by a Kickstarter because Kickstarter, um, if you don't basically raise as much money as you said you, you wanted to raise, then you don't get that money. I wasn't able to join Kickstarter because um, you have to be US based and you have to have um, a, an account in the US and I don't have that, a, a bank account in the US. So that that, that was, you know, um, a good sort of opportunity for me. Um, now there have been quite a few sort of consequences that I, I didn't expect from the crowdfunding genome project. I think, you know, uh, uh, there was quite a lot of publicity that uh, this raised, uh, particularly because I guess that, you know, nobody has done this before. And, and so I thought, well, I think that people just found it kind of curious, you know, what, what would it be like for this kind of project to actually uh, be done, you know. And I think, you know, my project was the first time that anyone sort of was thinking of raising money for sequencing his or her family. So I think that that was quite interesting and people found it interesting and it gave me quite a lot of exposure. Uh, but um, I'm not sure if it was the exposure or the right kind of exposure, but anyway. Um, would I do this again or what would I change if I would do the crowdfunding uh, process again? Um, well, certainly I think I would need to define a much more sort of uh, attractive, um, I guess, target. I don't think, as I said before, that sequencing my, my family was a, a reasonably um, attractive target for, for people other than family and friends. Secondly, I think it would be quite interesting to sort of um, pair or sort of uh, collaborate with uh, journals or, or, or some specific um, kind of or group of people who have already quite a lot of, um, I guess, capability in terms of the dissemination of, of the information. I just, I just did it through my blog, through Twitter, through 
um, I, I did a Google video um, which I put it on my Google channel and you know put it on my blog as well um, so anyway I think overall um, you might be luckier than I was although I'm quite happy with what came out uh, I'm gonna be able now to sort of exom sequence three members of my family uh, for the next uh, step of our project so thanks very much for listening and maybe in the future you will hear more from me but not just uh, writing but, but also talking thanks very much <laughs>